Virgo. Welcome to Told Is Love Tarot. Um, I hope you like and subscribe if this is your first time here. And I also hope and really hope you tell a friend to come check me out. This is my little YouTube baby. Um, that is six months this, uh, this month. Yeah, the end of this month. Um, I just hit 250 subscribers before this. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Virgo, if you're one of my many subscribers and um, viewers. Thanks for checking in on me. <laughs> this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Virgo in your chart. Um, or if you're a cross-watcher, you're interested in a Virgo and want to know what's going on with the Virgo, you're more than welcome here. Um, if it resonates, awesome. Please like and let me know with a comment. That also helps the channel. Um, and that's awesome. If it resonates or if it doesn't resonate, please still go check out the other signs in your chart. Um, all your views of the videos um, push the channel along. And I mean, if you haven't having a dry spell in your love life, maybe you'd want to check out your Venus sign. Um, if you don't know what your chart is, what I mean by that, um, I have in my um, playlists, a Minutes with Meg playlist, and I describe what um, your birth, like where to find your birth chart and kind of what it means and what the other signs are in your chart. Yeah, someone definitely, their allergies, because this happened, right? With Gemini yesterday too and I also thought it was like someone not liking that I'm ousting them and maybe I'm about to say something or I've said things Virgo that have ousted someone or they've ousted you um but here we go I have a pre message for you about um eating habits someone's like trying a veg like heavy vegetable diet or like even considering vegan um like researching it if you haven't already gone that route um it's like getting back into the swing of things of eating healthier um maybe someone is a big fan here of like the summer vegetables and they can just make a meal out of vegetables and then they're fine so that's cool. That's that was literally the first one of the first messages with Virgo and this ties in what I was first saying about there's like a Virgo who normally is like who usually has health health issues and everything has been like normal, everything's looking good lately and like I think it could be diet related that maybe this is why you're eating so many vegetables and you're like almost excited to eat like a rabbit for the next few months because it's all green and beautiful. Maybe someone's work working in a garden. Like I'm even getting like um, one of those community gardens where that is a loud motorcycle. Holy shit. That was like a radio on the motorcycle. Maybe there's, uh, going back to what I was saying, it's like a community farm where I, I don't know what they're called, but it's like if you go and you put in the work and help, you, you can take home some of the vegetables too. Maybe you pay like a monthly fee. Um, yeah, a lot of vegetables for you, Virgo. <clears throat> um... Something else about not used to not being first, like you weren't chosen first for something and you're not used to that. You're used to being first or at least being chosen first or being everyone's first choice. It was maybe there was like a job and there were down to a few choices and you didn't get the, their first choice you got their second choice or something like that and even though you won you're like kind of like I didn't get first choice it's like you still passed the class with a B plus just because you didn't get that A A plus you think you deserve 
Like, I... I can't with people like that because it's like there's not... I guess it's uh, it's someone pushing themselves for better, but it's like, at what point is do you understand and accept that your your best is your best, and you accept the judgment of that person for what your best was? If you didn't get chosen first, you didn't get chosen first. I'm like, I'm even feeling someone like, like cooking a meal for another, and it's like you don't like that. What do you mean you don't like that? How could you not like that? It's so good. Everyone likes that. How could you not like that? And it's like, because I don't fucking like it. What do you fucking want from me? <laughs> like, chill the fuck out. It is okay if I don't like this meal. Something like this. This is like a... I'm getting very Taurus energy here. Like... Hmm. I'm trying to think of another example. It's like someone who won. <clears throat> it's like you've still won. So why are you arguing over how much you've won by? You got the good grade. You won the game. So why is there a need to argue over how much you beat? You have money. This could be a money thing. You're rich. You're rich. It doesn't matter how much richer you are than this person. You're both fucking rich. <laughs> There are people that don't have, you know? I don't know. Creeping online. <clears throat> you make my blood boil. Move on. Hey, happy Pride Month. June 1st when I'm filming this. Sketchy. It won't work. I care a lot about you, but I'm not in love with you. It was never meant to get serious, go this far, red flags. My family doesn't like us together. Um. Virgo. This is either you or who you're dealing with or some sort of situation at one point where um, there's this unrequited love. One person had more feelings than the other and they became, um, I don't want to say possessive, but it's kind of like... Be it there's this feeling of because they're not getting what they want and that could be you Virgo or because you're not getting what you want there's this um, getting mad because something isn't working and then doing other um, how do I describe this This feels like a mental game. Maybe this is why I have a headache, Virgo. It's like trying to plot out the next person's move and trying to anticipate the next person's move like a chess game. But this is like, um, like a mental game that someone is in and one person wants more from the other. They could even just want some, a fling. And like, give me just... 10 minutes with you, that's all I need. And you're not giving it to them. Or it was, it's never gonna get that far, but you are teetering right on that edge. And this person, this could person could be like sexually frustrated. 
it's like their blood is boiling because something isn't working the way that they want or are anticipating it would and um, it's because one person doesn't feel the same I feel like the creeping online and sketchy is someone's online habits have changed or this is what was noticed someone um, I mentioned in a reading the other day for I probably Gemini because I'm freaking always on Gemini nowadays but actually no I think it was Aries I was describing how I um, was listening to a reading and it said this name in it a man's name that was very distinct we'll go with Vernon which runs in my family that's not an average day name you run into um, and the tarot reader in this example for example with my dramatization was like oh V I it's like Vernon and my head popped up and I thought holy shit that makes me think of this person I used to work with <clears throat> and that night that person Vernon who I used to work with who I hadn't thought about in months and months who I have had no social media contact with in months and months and months, he looked at my Instagram story that night. And those are those are the little winks that happened to me that I'm like, well then there was something in that message that was meant for me because that's like a tap on the shoulder. And that's what happens in these readings. It's not gonna be a blaring, flashing light. This is the reading for you. There's gonna be little hints and clues of something um, like if I just, me saying someone's behavior online has changed, someone out there, that could have been a clue either for them because they know their behaviors have changed or because they've noticed someone else's behaviors online have changed. What do I mean by that? Someone's habits. <clears throat> so if they, because looking at stories and liking posts and bullshit like that has become so important in today's day and age. I'm going to be 36 in two and a half weeks and it's disturbing to me how many people in my mid to late 30s are still very much on this wavelength of he looked at my story. He didn't look at my story. She liked my post. She didn't like my post. I catch myself doing it too. And it is, unfortunately, it is sending a signal. If you're in a beef with someone and all of a sudden your best friend isn't looking at your posts or liking anything anymore, it's sending a signal without having to send a signal, right? This is like, it's so pathetic for me to, to even be talking about because I just... I grew out of that and it's so superficial to me and I don't know I I look at myself as like such a black sheep because I'm like I could give a shit if anything these people are only probably sending negative energy my way rather than positive these people with 1800 friends and it's like do you think all those people have good wishes for you do you think all their energy is always going to be positive? I don't know. I've just become a less is more type person. And I talked about this in the Aries reading where it was like less, 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 less things, less people, less. I was almost going to talk about um, Virgo. You might be looking at your calendar for June, but I think this is collectively because of inflation and the prices and just collectively. I just... Um, I think there's going to be another big COVID surge with graduation parties and proms and all these people getting together like it was the holidays. It, there's going to be a... Watch. I'm willing to bet 4th of July they're telling people to try to lay low if they can. If they aren't already laying low because I'm convinced collectively this was a very slow-key Memorial Day weekend for a lot of Americans, if not the whole world, but although the whole world doesn't celebrate Memorial Day, I know that. Um, and whatever low key means for you, if you normally um, 
Memorial Day weekend would go out on the boat with your in-laws and then have a big huge bar family barbecue afterwards it's like the lower key part is we're just having the barbecue and it's half the family this time. If you normally would just have a barbecue with some friends and family, it, your low key would have been like, you didn't even do that. You just kicked it. Maybe even, I have a feeling a lot of people took advantage of like the nice weather and did yard work and housework this weekend. Because as we all know, inflation and gas prices and I just, I mean, it's common sense. It's just common sense, but I feel like there's also a Virgo who might be taking like a big breath because they're looking at their calendar for June and it's a lot uh, calmer than this, their schedule has been the past few months. This schedule looks blanker. Um, Maybe there's plans yet to come to fill in, but that definitely came to me for you, Virgo. The creeping online and sketchy to me just spoke of someone who, um, maybe someone you broke up with a while ago and they, they stopped looking at your social media and then all of a sudden, they're there. Or someone who Just stopped looking at your online stories and you that creeping online is so interesting that I'm not reading it the way that you you think you would read it someone looking at your stories online it's something different than that it's like their behavior where they normally would creep they're not there anymore where they normally would like posts they're not there anymore childish Overall message over there, move on. Ace of Cups, I thought I saw that. This could be new love, this could be your health and wealth and drinking lots of water, Virgo. Didn't, didn't I take a big sip of this while we were sitting here? Drinking your water, King of Swords, reverse. That is air, energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I just feel like I'm looking at someone getting healthy five six seven oh, five, I can't I had to count it for you maybe someone lives at five sixty seven um or May June and July something's happening those months but um I just want to say here, someone has a healthy heart. Maybe you've had health concerns, Virgo, or were someone around you had heart concerns, but this is a healthy heart, a strong heart. Someone may have um, been a cigarette smoker and they gave that up. That's something that had to be given up. I feel like someone has also given up drinking or is toning down their drinking and they want a drink so bad, but this has to do with their health. Oh, not her. She's an every fucking murder. We're putting her back. Virgo. I feel like um, I'm. I feel like I'm looking at someone who's got who's got some jealousy. I don't know. Maybe some. Um, they're not telling you the jealousy that they're feeling, or like the anger. Yeah, I don't think you're aware of this. There's someone who's like, wasn't I just talking about the evil eye or whatnot? Someone that you are not aware of is like sending daggers your way. And I feel like it's because you're there's love in your life or you're having this opportunity, this positive 
loving thing happening. I feel like I'm looking at lovebirds, like two people so in love and there's this jealous person watching. Two of cups. Four. I feel like, like, see how this person's trying to give like a, a a flower in a cup it's like someone tried to offer to give something or they suggested something and I don't think it, it wasn't taken and now this person has to watch them receive and take the cup from someone else the cup could be a real cup Seem like the Stanley Cup. <laughs> like a trophy. I feel like I'm, I'm there's something about jealousy here, like there were people who wanted, there were more than one person who wanted either something, a position, a job, a person, and um, a partnership was made with one, and it was accepted, and this decision was made, and like, uh, people are jealous, or... Um, judging. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. Judgment reversed. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. The world, which I've already seen. And the Magician reversed, Aries, Gemini energy. Someone is trying to, like, not have something end, like... I feel like this is this is gonna sound really freaking sick. It's like um, it's like another offer comes around, a job, a, a commitment comes around, and someone is like trying, <laughs> like hoping it doesn't work out, or um, it's almost like they know this is this is the best thing, like you're the best person for this, or this is the best. Thing to happen but they don't want it to happen because maybe for selfish reasons they just don't want to see this happen so it's like someone doesn't want to see you Virgo like succeed someone doesn't want to see you get accolades and be um, seen as like the winner Three of Pentacles reversed. I feel like I'm looking at someone who works hard, who who's put in a lot of work for where they're at. Like they've gone from started at the bottom now we're here it started playing in my head like this person i started thinking started at the bottom like they were on their hands and knees getting money and handouts and now um they're established and it's because they've worked hard and sacrificed a lot and given up a lot to get to where they are putting themselves in uncomfortable situations just for the sake of giving like their job what they wanted I feel like someone doesn't realize all the while it was making you a better person for whatever was to come next. Like it made you better, well, 
rounded and like it's like putting you in these stressful bad situations that tried you made you a better person for this opportunity this role this um relationship even like if you hadn't gone through the tough things that you went through in other relationships you wouldn't be the perfect per person and the perfect match for this relationship that is here or is coming in wow this is like a creeping online card the lovers is popping out at me I feel like someone's kept tabs on you, Virgo, or you've kept tabs on someone, whether or not they were aware of it. Like, I think, um, or having someone keep tabs for them, because that shit happens. It's like this person is set, is like all defensive against whatever happened back there, but is whispering for her homegirl over here to go over and communicate and keep tabs and see what's going on. wands I was gonna say there seems like there's some something wrong with communication here like there could be like three people and like one person is talking in between the two it's like very bizarre people who are like separating um, people who who are pretending like they don't give a shit about each other like I'm gonna stay inside and this one's like well I'm gonna go outside I feel like I'm looking at someone who was like, I've put myself in so many uncomfortable situations and I've done so much for you and someone was not like receptive. Like someone wanted something. Maybe they're wanting an elevation, they're wanting a new job, they're wanting another, this part of the something from a partner and their partner is kind of being stubborn. Wasn't I saying there's like a stubbornness t here? Well, why didn't I win? Or like, well, why can't I get what I want? And someone is being like, I have or has, hasn't communicated enough. All the things that they've done and all the times that they've put themselves in positions where either they felt uncomfortable or they were like just doing the most for their job and to keep the peace and to keep, um, I wanted to say, keep up appearances to the point where someone's finally, I hear like, fine, like having like, oh, this is so obnoxious, caving to giving to what someone wants when it's like, I'm the one who's been doing all the work while you've been sitting there so if I say I want to go do this, fucking get up and get ready. That's for somebody out there, Virgo. Two of Wands. The devil. I just got this heavy feeling of someone wondering if they've made the right decision. Are we making the right choice here? Afraid that something's going to be a very bad choice. <laughs> very bad choice. Did I make the wrong decision here? This could be like so something as big as like, did I ma marry the right person? But this could also... Um, any anything like 
with the job like did I take the right job did I make the right this is an indecisive person right here like if I saw the lovers reversed I would not be shocked Queen of Cups. There you are. Ooh, you went flying. The Hermit was reversed. Maybe you went flying. I feel like someone's taking a dream and making it a reality. Or something they just used to fantasize about or talk about and now it's like happening. I think someone here needs to keep their Keep their um their victories to themselves keep your trophies to yourself don't talk about it this goes back to someone like the people who have 1800 friends like do you think all 1800 of those people are gonna wish you well like there's something too someone not wishing you well with their thoughts like they're they're directing their energy towards you in a negative manner why not try to avoid it all together by just not sharing your victories keep them to yourself page of swords reversed again <laughs> oh shit Someone does not want to be seen or caught giving attention to another person or keeping tabs. Like, that guy does not want to be caught giving money to that beggar for whatever reason. He just doesn't want to be seen doing it. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Or someone doesn't want anybody to know that they've accepted money or they are accepting money. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. The star with the tower. Star reversed with the tower. Wow. Whatever happened, there was some sort of ending to a, a good thing. It could have been a great work relationship. It could have been a great work environment. It could have been a great house environment, living environment. Something came to an end and it wasn't getting any better. It wasn't healing someone like wasn't getting something was not the right environment it was like it's just not the right environment virgo it started off good and then it wasn't good anymore that's your um your tower tower card and the star reversed it wasn't getting any better and it wasn't going to get any better so it was like this is the time that's that wheel of fortune this is the time to do this to get together, to make this partnership, to make this decision, to accept this offer, to accept this money that we don't want, that I don't want anybody to know about. Someone is in the midst of leveling up. I just heard leaving behind old problems. Um, I feel like this is, there's someone accepting an offer. 
this could be um, a new, like I said, a new job. Like I was just gonna say, I feel like this is our beggar person and now sh that it's an established person who's gone from needing handouts from people with nobody knowing to um, being established and making your own money on your own. Wow. Well, it looks like you're on the up and up here, Virgo. I might title this like on the way up or on the way up, nothing can stop me. So, someone must be into like 2000s rap out there, 2010s rap. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Was that Fat Joe? And Remy Ma? Yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you next time, Virgo. See ya.